Time now for sports news on the news at 10 with Ayo Balogun. <laughs> On Nigeria's chances of qualifying for next year's Africa Cup of Nations in Gabon suffered a massive setback after they failed to beat Egypt in a, in a win game, uh, in a must-win game in Kaduna. Now the Super Eagles were held to a one-all draw by Egypt, uh, who thus stay on top of Group G with seven points and host Nigeria in a reverse fixture in Alexandria next week. Ogene Karete will put Nigeria ahead on the R when he scrambled home off a rebound after Kelechi Hianacho Screamer came off the post. However, in stoppage time, Mohamed Salah broke an offside trap by the home team to draw seven-time African champions Egypt level. That was magnificent. He doesn't waste time. He takes it one time and it rebounded, ricocheted off the post there. Give shots to a cup cold. And it was a devil who had the final touch on the eye mark. Moses Simon had everything to do with it. Sets up behind at all. His ball came off the upright, and the devil was the Africans are notorious for. They hold a one nil lead. Well, Gabon has unveiled the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations mascot, a Black Panther named Samba. Gabon President Ali Bongo, FIFA President John Infantino, and CAF President Isa Hayatu were all in attendance at the ceremony. The mascot sports Gabon blue and yellow colors, and Samba means hello and welcome in the local Bantu language. Chelsea defender Gary Cahill has been named captain for England's friendly international against Germany on Saturday. That's tomorrow. His regular skipper Wayne Rooney has been ruled out with injury. The Manchester United striker Rooney, who is England's record goal scorer, has been sidelined since February the 13th with a knee ligament injury and faces a race against time to get fit for the European Championship, which begins in France on June the 10th. Well, Australian race walker Jared Tallon says it will be disappointing to have to compete at the Rio de Janeiro Games in August against the man who cheated him out of the London Olympic gold. Talent finished second in the 50-kilometer walk at the 2012 Olympics behind Russian Sergei Kidyapkin, who was found guilty of doping last year and handed a three-year, two-month suspension by Russia's anti-doping agency. And Bahrain's capital, Manama, is being prepared for the Bahrain Grand Prix, which takes place on April the 3rd at the Sakyo track just outside the city. Bahrain is the second race of the season this year following the Australian Grand Prix, won by Mercedes Nico Rosberg with world champion Lewis Hamilton in second. The Bahrain race still comes with controversy five years after a 2011 uprising linked to Arab Spring protests was put down by force. And that's a wrap in Sports News. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. And on the foreign scene, today marks Good Friday when Christians around the world remember the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ. It's a day usually filled with messages of Christ's devotion to the cross for the salvation of mankind. The head of the Catholic Church had focused his message this year on condemnation of arms makers and the people who distribute them, blaming them for the multiple blasts in Brussels. On Tuesday, the attacks have threatened to overshadow celebrations around the world as security is heightened in many countries in Europe. However, in the Philippines, Catholic devotees have been reenacting the crucifixion of Jesus Christ with live crucifixion in Kuchit village, 80 kilometers north of the capital, Manila. Hundreds watched as the bloody rites were performed, as nails were hammered into heads and nails to the cross, while ropes and fabric supported their weight. A less body scenario played out in a similar scenario in Sydney, in Australia, where actors from the Wesley Mission staged a show of Christ's death. The situation of the cross was observed, was observed in Jerusalem, as Christians stopped at different stations to say prayers and sing hymns. On entertainment news tonight, Nollywood actress and singer Stella Damasus is preparing to release an album she calls The Alternative. This and more with Mayawa Gundili. 
Well, many thanks. R&B star Banky W has reaffirmed his earlier decision to retire from the music industry after his next album. In an exclusive interview with Entertainment News, Banky W, who is widely regarded as one of the most eligible bachelors in the entertainment industry, revealed his desire to find a wife and build a family is the reason he is taking a break. He told us that the retirement, which may last five to ten years, will kick off once he releases his solo album titled Songs about you and two other joint albums with Iyanya and DJ Exclusive. Producers of the biggest Nollywood movie of 2015-50 have declared a 400 million naira return on investment from different revenue streams including cinemas, internet streaming and others. The B. Bandele directed movie which tells the intertwining story of four women living in Lagos was released for public viewing about four months ago and is set to return as a TV series. Nollywood actress and singer Stella Damasas is preparing to release a gospel album titled The Alternative. The album, which will be released sometime this year, is being produced by Daniel Ademinoko and features collaborations with another actor come singer Gabriel Afolayo. Nollywood veteran Jacques Silva is advocating gender equality in Nigeria, saying true growth will not be achieved until all have equal rights. Silva took to Instagram to share her thoughts, saying she believes that, quote, every time we liberate a woman, we liberate a man. On the music front, the management of late singer No More Loss has released a video for one of his never-before-heard songs titled Beautiful Things, the same title as the album he never got to release. The video was directed by BNG. Mehdi has also released a video for his song, I Wanna Know. Yemi Alade is not left out as she serves the visuals to her latest single, Ferrari. The video, which features cameo appearance by actor Kunle Remy, directed by Clarence Peters. And that's it on Entertainment News. Many thanks for watching. Let's head back to the main news. And the main news again. It's Good Friday today as clerics in Nigeria call for more vigor in the fight against corruption while urging citizens to unite in nation building. Also, we told you tonight that one of two suspected suicide bombers intercepted in Cameroon today allegedly claims she's one of the Chibok girls. Oil servicing company Ladol gets clean bill of health on local content requirements as regulatory agency inspects facility in Lagos and messages of Christ's devotion to the cross resonates across the world today on the occasion of Good Friday. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for being a part of it on behalf of the entire production team. Have a splendid night, friends. Good night. Thank you.